Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, so I want to come on here and do a quick video about the whole Meek Mill situation. So if you guys do not know, everybody's favorite rapper from Philly, Meek Mill, he was released from jail today and social media went crazy, okay? Of course, Meek Mill is free was trending, Meek Mill was trending, everybody and their mama has something to say about the situation, his fans are going nuts in the streets of Philly, but I find a lot of things strange about this entire release and this whole, you know, all this hoopla behind Meek. And like I talked about in my previous live stream, do I think him being locked up and looking at a potential two to four years was excessive? Yes, I do. Do I believe him being on probation for 10 years was excessive? Yes, I do. But with that being said, I'm trying to figure out why, you know, these so-called big people. Now, that's one thing when I see social media folks acting a fool and being super excited because we're just regular schmegler people. But when I see mayors getting involved and when I see co-owners of the Philadelphia 76ers getting involved, when I see millionaires and billionaires getting involved in the whole meat meal situation, it definitely makes my tin hat tingle. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to figure out why all these people are acting like he's some type of political prisoner. But what I find really funny is that Michael Rubin... Um, who's been a big advocate of getting Meek Mill out. If you guys don't know, Michael Rubin only has four posts on his Instagram page, okay? He first started his Instagram page on April 16th, and that was basically to talk about Meek Mill. Since then, he's posted three more pictures, and two of the pictures are from today, basically with Meek in the car with him, getting ready to go to the Philadelphia 76ers game. They also chartered a private helicopter to get him from prison. So everybody's talking about this. Like, I legit feel like this is some shit out of a movie. I mean, you got limousines, helicopters, you know what I'm saying? These big billionaires picking him up and taking him to the 76ers game, him ringing the bell. Like, this looks like a damn movie being filmed, okay? About the life story of Meek Mill getting out of prison. Meek Mill was also allowed to ring the bell. Um, I mean, it's just insane. Like I spoke about the other day, the mayor went down there fighting to get him out. And then we all know a lot of celebrities have been behind him, like Jay Z and Kevin Hart and a lot of other people. So I kind of want to just go ahead and break down the Meat Mill situation, why he's in jail. As we all know, he spoke to Don Lemon the other day on CNN. So it's just been a lot of stuff. His mom has been on the news. And I'm curious to see if his mom got a chance to even see him first before, you know, these damn billionaires went and swooped him up and took him to the game. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch these news clips I put together. Check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. The back of the paddy wagon. Dreams and Nightmares. It's Meek Mill's debut album. See my dreams unfold. Nightmares come true. It also describes Mill's life. I uh, started off with a rough life. I'm at a point where I could provide for my family. I continue to... I'm going to continue to do so. But Mill, who is currently in jail for probation violations, has battled legal trouble since he was 18. It was 2008 when Mill was found guilty by Judge Janice Brinkley of illegally carrying a gun, as well as drug charges related to that same arrest. Mill spent eight months in prison and got five years probation. When Mills was released, he returned to music, dropping the platinum-selling Dreams and Nightmares in 2012. His career was taking off. But in 2014, Mill violated his probation when he traveled out of state for a performance. Judge Brinkley sent him back to prison for nearly five months. She also reinstated his probation conditions. Then in March 2017, Mill was arrested for a scuffle at the St. Louis airport, and then again in August, this time in New York for popping wheelies on a dirt bike. The video posted to social media. Judge Brinkley cited a failed drug test and travel violations when she sent Mill back to jail for two to four years. The move went against the recommendations of the district attorney's office and Mill's probation officer and was called excessive by Mill's supporters. He's been on probation for 11 years. Mill is managed by Jay-Z's Rock Nation. The mogul telling CNN's Van Jones the whole penal system needs to be reworked. Well, this is not the first time this happened. This is, un unfortunately, in America, this happens to black and brown people way too often. But some argue the judge could have been harder on Mill early on. He could have very easily spent the past 10 years incarcerated, uh, but he didn't. This is a person who was convicted of a serious offense and given every opportunity to succeed. Look, it's just not fair. Yet celebrities continue to rally around Mill. 
their collective fame keeping the legal system in the spotlight. Stephanie Elam, CNN. All righty, Don, what's up? How are you? Hey, I'm okay. Not so, too bad to be in jail. Yeah, listen, so I visited you in jail uh, on Friday last week to talk to you about the case. Today, the district attorney told the Philadelphia court that he supports a new trial for you because of serious issues regarding the credibility of your arresting officer. He also said that he supported bail for you, but you're still being denied bail, and you're now appealing to the Pennsylvania State Supreme Court. What are you feeling tonight? Uh, you know, I try to keep my spirits high. I don't really try to put uh, too much think to get my hopes up from that courtroom right there. But I feel like I will be free one day because, you know, the DA making that statement basically saying they know uh, something is wrong here. I don't think they're just saying it just to say it. They're saying it for a reason. And, you know, uh, I think I'll be able to get my chance yeah. uh, pretty soon, my time coming. So do you think she should have decided today because she put it off for 60 days whether or not she said she would consider the whole thing in 60 days? And we're talking about Judge Janice Brinkley here. Yeah, uh, I thought that was a little crazy. Uh, I try not to do too much negative speaking on her because my life's in her hands, but uh, I think uh, people, could try to, people could see that was a little crazy. If, if the DA offering is that uh, I get bail, uh, offering that I get a new trial, I think 60 days is a little uh, outrageous. 80 cases go in front of a judge on Friday, and mine will be the only one that's heard in June. Do you think that since yeah. uh, they have the new uh, information and the new evidence, you think that she's going to uh, rule in your favor? I don't know. I don't think she's going to do anything in my favor, uh, personally. I, I, mm. I never had anything done in my favor in that courtroom, and I just bring my hopes all the way down when it came to that courtroom period. Uh, I was found guilty of pointing a gun at two cops at one time. I thought she would have uh, ruled in my favor when she seen my face on that mug shot my face was beat in. But, uh, well, you're serving time for pro probation violations. You've had a few of, the, of, of those going back to 2012. And while you told me you said you're not perfect, do you don't think this punishment fits, fits the crime, right? Uh, hell no, I'm not perfect. I didn't commit the crime. I didn't point a gun at two officers. I think uh, if you did a poll on CNN, it had to the black male point a gun at two officers in the middle of a full blown raid. I think the profile would be like 98% saying no. I think everybody knew that. And with all these young men getting killed for reaching for their cell phones, uh, I happened to make it from the ghetto and be on the road to success. That was lucky enough. You think I'm lucky enough to point a gun at two, three officers at one time without being a shot thing? without a, fire, a shot being fired at me, it's like almost impossible. Let's talk about what you have become the symbol for, a really a cause celeb, because many celebrities and activists say that your situation highlights the problems with the criminal justice system and why it needs to be reformed in this country. Do you believe your case is representative of a bigger problem here? Yeah, definitely. It's, it's, it's like even if I wasn't innocent of this case, just being on probation 11 years so far, if I was them kids at Starbucks, you see they talking about the Starbucks, the black kids got locked up. If I would have got locked up in Starbucks just for sitting in Starbucks by mistake and got a technical violation, uh, legally a judge would be able to sentence me to two to four years, three to six years, five to ten years just for having police contact. And I don't think nobody should lose their freedom for not even committing crime. Uh, I ain't. I was locked up. I was found guilty of a crime I didn't commit in 2000, I think, eight or nine. Uh, I'm in a state penitentiary right now still because of that case, and I've never been in trouble since 2009, and I'm, I'm, I'm doing a state sentence to that right now. And, you know, a lot of people, they get locked up for technical violations and stuff like that, and they lose their jobs, mm -hmm. and uh, they lose their family. Their kids go follow this for months, years at a time. His father name. Right, Meek, my daughter gave him that name. Meek Mill lost his father to gun violence at the age of five. He was a good kid. He was quiet, humble, didn't talk too much. Williams said she never realized he was a serious rapper until he reached his teenage years. When he started hanging with his cousins over in South Philly, that's when I noticed that he started rapping. I thought it was just a hobby because I'm into music. I like music too, but... Um, not knowing that it was going to go this far. Taking him to heights among top rappers in Philly and the world. But his rise to fame came crumbling down after parole violations from a decade-old gun and drug conviction landed him in Pennsylvania State Prison for two years. How is his spirit? How is he now? His experience is good. I mean, what expected. He just want to know when is everything going to be over. I'm the one that's not 
holding up to well. I mean, every day I gotta wake up thinking that, okay, this day is gonna happen, this day is gonna happen, and then I'm not there no more. Handing down Meek's sentence came after a prosecutor recommended that he not be in prison for the violations, saying that he had been clean since January and that he has grown as a person since the original crime. Meek's lawyers filed three motions to Pennsylvania Supreme Court asking for bail. Last month, Philadelphia District Attorney Larry Krasner confirmed that retired Philadelphia police officer Reginald Graham, who in 2007 testified against rapper Meek Mill, appeared on a list of so-called tainted cops. Meek's team now wants his conviction overturned. And what we wasn't known at the time of his trial was that there was evidence being presented that was untrue. We've now discovered that, and discovering it now requires us to go back to the beginning to undo the conviction, and we believe at that point in time the conviction will not move forward. I can tell you this, the defendant testified that he had a gun that day, and he testified that he sold drugs. Attorney Chuck Peruto represents Judge Denise Brinkley. She sentenced the 30-year-old rapper. Meek's legal team has asked to have the common police court judge removed. She's prohibited from speaking about any case. She follows the law. What you have here is a tough judge, but she's tough across the board. She's tough with everybody. If you don't want a tough judge, then don't elect them. Do you think Meek Mill will get out of prison? Judge has an open mind. If they present evidence that the whole case was made up and that it's terrible, she'll throw it out. But they haven't done that so far. Philadelphia's DA recently submitted a filing to Meek's lawyer saying that there is a strong showing of likelihood of his conviction being reversed in whole or in part. In a tweet last Friday, Governor Tom Wolf said he backs the DA. And this isn't really just a, a violation of, of civil rights. It, it's, it's, it's now at a point where it's a violation of human rights. And we're pr praying that, that the Supreme Court will intervene and bring Meek home. Are you hopeful? Yeah, I'm trying to be hopeful. I'm very hopeful. Hopefully it'll happen soon. <laughs> nigga, I know. I know, nigga. Do you remember I told you, nigga, not to take that 10 years of probation, nigga? <laughs> I told you not to take that. I said, man, ask them people if you can go and do two years right quick. <laughs> hey, man. But shit. But. Hey, man, be honest with you, man. You really walked that shit down, Ben. I could have. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie to you. But I had a five, and I went back to prison twice, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Now, really, what happened was, nigga, you got you you became a household name. That really what happened. Yeah, nah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like before, like before, motherfucker felt like you had to you had to you had to be a fan of rap to know who the fuck you were. Then you became a household name. Visit him, and uh, uh, he wasn't uh, he wasn't feeling good. Uh, you could tell he was trying to hold on. So to be here and uh, to kind of like um, provide this opportunity for him uh, because he's been following us and for him to kind of come to this stop of game, man, that was a close eye game and we got the win. I was just happy. I was just, I got the news earlier uh, from uh, Michael Rubin and uh, you know, I was, I was happy for him. Uh, they've been working on it for uh, months now. so. Uh, I was just excited that he got to witness this because I know that uh, he's always representing the city and he loves this he loves this city so much. How good does this feel? He's got to get a shower and yeah. go win this game. How good does this feel right now? How do you feel? You feel how do you I feel great. And if they get there ahead of the 8 p.m. tip, Meek Mill is going to ring the bell tonight. Welcome home, Meek Mill, supported by managing owner Josh Harris 
Hunter Michael Rubin and Philly's own Kevin Hart. All right, so you guys just saw the news clip. You guys also saw T.I. going crazy and, you know, calling himself, giving Meek Mill some advice. So, like I said, yes, I am a fan of Meek Mill. Yes, I am a bootleg dream chaser. But, you know, I still find this whole situation funny. I've never seen so many high-profile people get involved in a celebrity criminal case. And it almost makes my tin hat tingle because I think about, like, you know, okay, so now when everything is said and done, what is Meek Mill going to owe these people? You know, what is he going to owe these billionaires and millionaires and these, you know, big-name people for this so-called favor that they pulled for him? Because this was definitely a favor, okay? Let's keep it real. If this was Raheem Smith as opposed to Meek Mill, they would still be in jail. And I hope that people have the same type of energy that they have for celebrities when they're going through legal issues. I hope people have the same type of energy for just regular smuggler people. Because one thing I hope that this brings light to is that there's a lot of people in the penal system, and not everybody's innocent, some people are guilty, but there's a lot of people being put on probation, you know what I'm saying, for upwards of 10, 15 years, you know, just excessive amounts of probation and they are getting locked back up by their POs for any simple violations. So I hope that all of this fanfare and all of this discussion does not end now that Meek Mill is out of prison. I hope that these same celebrities and these same millionaires and billionaires and especially the mayor of Philadelphia continue to fight for the regular men that are in jail fighting for their lives and they're fighting to get off of probation, fighting to get off of parole and trying to make something of their lives. You know what I'm saying? I just hope that this discussion does not end with Meek Mill, now that everybody's favorite so-called rapper is out, I hope that people don't forget about the regular men and women, mind you, because there's also women who are in jail and who are in prison and who are on probation and things like that. I hope this discussion does not end with Meek Mill. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. Go ahead and leave a comment. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.